Alright, what is up guys? So today I'm going to show you how I added an OEM logo in System Properties. And um, it ain't that easy, ain't that hard, but it it's kind of easy to do and you want to um, be careful when you're doing this. Because as you see, I, it didn't hurt my computer when I added it. Because as you see, I got the, um, the support number the online support, the model number, and the manufacturer, and I added the OEM logo and I made Okay, I, this is what you're going to have to do. If you like downloaded something for the OEM information, like a registry entry, you want to right click, you want to go to merge, and you want to, whenever that US C window come up you want to click yes so you can add in the OEM logo so this is where I got I downloaded the OEM information from some website off of, off of some form and this is the install instruction sometimes they'll give you this and you know show you the correct folders where everything go if you want to add like the themes or whatever I decided to add everything. This is where I went. You want to take the files that go to the OEM logo. You want to cut. You want to extract it from the, the, the whatever program you're using to extract it. You want to extract it to C, Windows, System 32, and and you want to copy and paste it into the folder. Um, if it comes with like a OEM.ini folder file, we'll let me get to it. It should be on here somewhere if I can get to it. Here it is. You want to copy and paste that as well into the System 32, it comes with it. And if you want to do it manually, you got you can do it as this: go to Start, Reg Edit. We're gonna right click. We're gonna run as administrator. We're gonna go to Yes. Okay, you want to go to H key Local Machine. You want to go to Software. We're going to go to where it says Microsoft. We're going to go all the way down to find Windows. We're going to go to current version. We're going to go down. And we're going to go to OEM information. And if you don't have none of this, if you don't have a folder for OEM information, you want to right click. You want to make a new key and have it named like this. And after you name a new key for OEM information, you want to. It's going to look like this. And you want to always add a new string value for each one. And you can go on to the OEM web, to the computer manufacturer's website, and you can, um, adding all of their information, their website, and you know, all that other good stuff. And you've got to make sure of a, the OEM logo is in like a, BM, in a .bmp file. And you want to save it in the System32 folder. And make sure your computer is set to have advanced permission or whatever. Make sure, or you can disable the UAC, the user account control because sometimes that could annoy a, a lot of users. You can even add your own custom logo. But make sure it's not too big because it's not going to show into the system properties. And I also added a theme by reading some instructions. So that was my idea, my advice on how to adding a how to add on a OEM logo. So I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching.